Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Richard Polden, who's Executive Chairman at Wishbone Gold. How are you today, Richard? Very good, Zach. Good to talk to you again. Right. Yesterday, uh, you revealed that uh, you've got an option on a, an asset in um, well, have your own uh, Telfer in Western Australia. Uh, could you tell us about that, please? Absolutely. It's um, it's one of the new exploration areas in Australia that is is particularly particularly interesting. The blocks that we have an option on are one of the few remaining blocks in in private hands. Pretty much all of the others are controlled by majors or reasonably large companies, if not if not majors. And I think it's, to put it in perspective, we've got three EPMs that we have under option here. And Haveron, uh, the one, Greatland Gold, the one that everyone wants to talk about at the moment, um, it basically it sits within a block that is much smaller than our smallest block. It's only one square kilometer for the mine, and our smallest block is three square kilometers. So in terms of closeology there, this is, um, this is an excellent area. Um, the other thing that, uh, talking to our, our geologists this morning that they've pointed out, is that the depth uh, on all of these prospects appears to diminish the further west you go. And we are west of both Telfa and have her on. Right. So um, that's a, a, a positive in terms of what you, you, you're regarding? It's very positive because you don't have to drill as far down to find something. Right. OK. Uh, so but the other point there, you mentioned that, you know, the, the Great and Gold, which is the stock market, market darling and uh, has a market cap of mm-hmm. hundreds, hundreds of millions, um, it doesn't actually have as mu- a big an area uh, that the you have. So is, is that, yeah, is, I, take it's it's, I, I take it this is an area where size matters uh, to some extent. <laughs> Nicely put, Zach. Yes, you're quite right. I think, I think the other thing, other point to mention is that the uh, company that we worked for, or I worked with long before I was involved with Wishbone, TerraSearch, uh, who we've used as geological consultants for years, um, have operations not just in Queensland, where they're working for us at the moment, but also in WA. And they have been involved in Haveron since the original discovery. Uh, and their biggest client there is Newcrest, which has the Telfer uh, mine, which is just, again, just up the, up the road from us. So we've, we've got our whole structure already in place. And we were going through that with, uh, with TerraSearch this morning. So basically, the news yesterday means that you're um, standing, rubbing shoulders with giants, or standing uh, on the shoulders of giants in that particular area, and um, you 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 could be, or you could receive or achieve as much as uh, they will over the uh, the near term. I think I prefer the rubbing of shoulders, Zach, as the analogy, um, because I think that's what we're doing here. Right. But uh, but yes. Um, not you know not tomorrow but uh, the prospectivity is absolutely there and it's hard to get uh, geological consultants excited but our lot are quite excited because they've worked on all of these major major finds right and uh, uh, clearly that this uh, comes um, after a sort of a, the last two three months or at least since june where you've rejigged wishbone uh, financially and in terms of the strategy as well um, what's the position as far as um, you know the sort of the financial position of Wishbone um, after you know the events of June and August? Well, very very important that you ask that question. In in June, we did a major restructuring that brought in cash and got rid of a whole lot of liabilities and debts. And that total restructuring was about eight hundred and fifty. Uh, the cash um, came primarily from my company, Black Swan and Peter House. So all of which is, is in the announcement if people, people choose to read it. Then in August, uh, we raised 400,000 and that had warrants attached to it. And we announced uh, the week before last that basically those warrants had been exercised and that has brought in another 283,000. So that means that basically 
94% um, of the warrants were exercised. And as you will know, you never expect 100% um, on a warrant exercise. So that leaves us um, very well positioned from a cash point of view. And just to clarify, with that warrant exercise, that gives us the cash to make this acquisition. Sure. So in the, in the foreseeable future, there's no, no plans to raise further money. Right. So um, we've, I mean, the, obviously, when a, a small company sees its share price rise, as your, yours has, uh, there is speculation in the market, but you're, you're, you're reiterating or stating that uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, you are fine financially. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is a tempt you're, you're right, there's a temptation, but there should also be um, an, an element of caution, I think, in any small cap company not to dilute too quickly, too soon. Right. And so uh, and we certainly don't. In yeah. All right. And, and so the, the cash position is, is uh, stable. Um, you're, yep. You've got the option for 45 days on this uh, uh, exciting asset. Uh, what else can we expect for the rest of the year? Um, the basically the beginning of the exploration programs that we've already announced in Queensland. Um, we are truthfully being slowed by by COVID. We have uh, restrictions in Australia that are extraordinary. Basically, you can't move from state to state at the moment. Um, uh, and so even though within Queensland um, there's not much restriction on movement, for instance, we wanted to move some people up from uh, New South Wales and we couldn't do it. So it's, it's slower than I would have liked, but nonetheless, it's, uh, it's on, on plan with what we originally announced. And and so we'll have, yeah. and, and just, sorry, we'll have further information on White Mountains and Wishbone uh, this, this year. Right, and just overall... Um, clearly, there's a, a gold rush in the in, in Australia at the moment. It's been a, an incredible year uh, for uh, the mining sector. There is that something you expect to continue? It is yes. Um, I've written articles on on what I think is going to happen with COVID, so we don't need to go around all that again. But I think it's far from over. I think there's a lot of uncertainty. The um, the cure that has been implemented in most of the West is going to be as harmful economically as the disease. And I think there's a lot of uncertainty and that will lead to investment in gold. On that note, Sir Richard Polden, Executive Chairman at Wishbone Gold, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Zach. Always good to talk to you. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.